everyone, Hardly Brief Dan here with another episode of the Unity Make an RPG series. Today we're going to be working on items and item creation, uh, but first I'll go ahead and do a quick review of what we did last time working on our stats uh, and our stats, our, base, our new stat system for the new 2015 tutorial series uh, for the Make an RPG. Um, if I go kind of quick through this, I've actually already recorded this video, but it uh, for some reason at the end it failed. My, I'm, wor I'm working on my laptop and it ran out of memory, so uh, forgive me. I'll try to make sure I explain everything again. I'm gonna be going. I'm gonna recreate all the scripts and stuff, so bear with me. Uh, but anyways, what we'll go ahead and do, like I said, just do a quick review uh, in our base stat here. I'm now in Visual Studio, and this is a, this is the script that we created last time. This class called Base Stat, and basically this sets up a model for what all of our stats will have, right? And all of our stats are going to have a name, a description, a base value, a modified value, and then a type. Uh, these are the five types that I've given, so stamina, endurance, intellect, mastery, and strength are the five stats that I've chosen to include in this project. Uh, and then here there are just the public setters and getters for these stats uh, that access these private variables here. Uh, the system.serializable is a tag here that allows us to serialize this later on. So uh, if we want to use binary serialization to save uh, these big objects and stuff, we can do that later on when we create our saving system. Uh, but anyways, this is what we started off with. And then I jumped in and showed you guys how to create uh, the stats themselves. So here we have a base endurance stat. Excuse me, And this base endurance stat inherits our base stat here, the colon. Uh, allows us to inherit a class and uh, C sharp allows us to in inherit one class and we chose to inherit base stat. Uh, that means that everything that's in our that's public in our base stat uh, our base endurance has as well. Uh, so then we create this method called base endurance and this is what we use to create a stat. So when we say uh, new base endurance it's going to go ahead and create a stat of of name endurance. It's going to give it the description of directly modifies player's health or player's energy excuse me it's going to set up the type as endurance and it's going to set this base value of zero and a modified value of zero uh, and again just to reiterate that you guys can go ahead and add all kinds of different uh, information in here if you want uh, maybe you have a bool maybe like it's unlocked or locked uh, and maybe has a cost to it maybe you can buy stats you know it's whatever you can come up with uh, but you can go ahead and include it in, our, in the base stat here uh, and then all your stats will inherit it. Now I showed you guys last time uh, I created two of these methods with you uh, and then I said I'd do the rest off screen which I did. went ahead and did the other stats that I missed uh, so you guys didn't have to see it. Uh, and then the last thing that we ended off the video with was creating this base player class here uh, and I showed you guys kinda or I talked about how we're gonna be how the stats can be used. Right we created this list uh, structure this list type and then included made the list uh, hold all base stat types uh, and we call it player stats meaning all the, pl the players gonna have these stored stats on uh, when you create it and this is how you're gonna access them you access them by doing player stats dot uh, or player stats and then you access the index value of it and it gives you whatever stat you want to look at so using this kind of same concept we're gonna go ahead and create our item class uh, so in the scripts folder here I click the items folder going to go ahead and hit create. We're going to create a new C sharp script. We're going to call it base item like so. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open that up in Visual Studio. going to hit reload all. going to hit control, zoom in with the mouse wheel. Uh, we do not need mono behavior, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Uh, we don't need start or update functions or methods. Delete that. And we'll go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're going to want is we're going to want a name for our item. So we'll do private string name much like the uh, base stat, we'll do private string description. Uh, and then we'll do private int. Uh, and we'll do value. So this will be a random value that we generate for the item. And then there's two other things we want. Uh, we want a list. So we need to do using system.collections.generic. Uh, and then, so we'll come down here and do private list of type base stat. So here we're creating a list to store all the stats that this item will have. Uh, and we'll call this stats. And then the last thing we'll do is create a public enum. And this will be item types. Right? And then here we're just gonna you can list all the different types of items you want. So we'll do equipment and then we'll do weapons. 
weapon. And then we need to create a private variable for that. So we'll say private uh, stat or item types, excuse me, uh, type underscore type. There we go. Uh, so now we create up our private variables here. We have a name, description, value, stats, a list of stats, and the type. Uh, now we need all the public headers and setters. So what I'm going to do is jump into our base stat class here. I'm uh, going to zoom in a bit. I'm going to go ahead and grab all these public headers and setters so I don't have to rewrite them all. So I'm going to highlight them, hit, hit Control C to copy, go back into base item, and Control V to paste. And then we're going to go ahead and change what they should be. So instead of stat name, we'll have item name. Instead of stat description, we'll have item description. Instead of stat base value, excuse me, we'll do item value. And uh, this will just be value instead of base value. Like that, control C to paste. Uh, and the next thing we'll do is gonna go ahead and grab this list of base stat. Gonna copy that. Uh, Stat modified value needs to change it to a list based stat, and we're going to call this item stats. Go up here and grab the underscore stats variable, replace modified value with it. And then the last thing we have is item types, so we're going to go ahead and copy item types and paste it there. Uh, and we want to call it item type. All right, so now we've created the model, the base of all of our items, right? Uh, and that includes a description, a name, and all that stuff. And again, you guys can add whatever you want to it. And we're going to continue adding this. Uh, hopefully, I want to show you guys how to do like enchantments or something, uh, or like spells, spell system that we can go ahead and add them to this. So like an item can have enchantments on it. It can have spells and stuff. And uh, we're going to be the way you would do that is basically the same way you handle your stats, uh, creating a list to hold these types of things on it. Uh, so now what we'll do is we're going to create a method here that creates a random item for us. Uh, so what we'll do is a public. Uh, it's going to be called public method. It's going to be called base item. Right? And this method is going to create all of our items. So when we create an item, this is what's going to be called. You can create several of these different methods to create items different ways. Uh, you can create an entire different class that basically is a big algorithm and has a whole bunch of logic to create your items. Uh, but to keep it simple for now, we're going to create all of our items randomly. Uh, I showed you guys in a couple of vi uh, videos before how to use like an XML sheet to create specific items and then import them into your game so that if you want to give a, a very specific item to the player, can, you can do that through that. But we're not going to do that now. Again, we're just going to create random items. So the first thing we need to do is set up an item name. So we'll do item name. We're going to set that equal to uh, item in quotes. Then we'll do a plus and we're going to assign a random value. So we'll do random dot range, oops, excuse me, random dot range, and we'll just go from 0 to 101. Now that's random dot range is the Unity engine's random number generator. Uh, so now we'll do random description, or item description, excuse me, we'll do item name, and we'll plus, and then what we'll do is in parentheses, we'll, or in quotes, we'll do item, item name blank, or, or space is an awesome item. Uh, so basically every item description will be the same uh, this basically the same the item name will change but the uh, is an awesome item will be the same the next thing we'll do is item value and we're just gonna assign that a random range again a random number so we'll do random range and we'll set that from 10 to 500 again these are just random numbers I'm choosing they're not specific uh, the, the next thing we'll do is item type uh, We'll set that equal to item types dot equipment. So everything will just be equipment for now. And the last thing we need to do is item list. So what we'll do is go item list or item stats. Uh, it's going to be equal to a new list. We need to instantiate or yeah, we need to instantiate the list, right? So we're initializing it here. We're saying, hey, create a new list of list based stat of base a new list of type based stat. Uh, and now we can add items to it. So we'll go I or stats to it. So we'll say item stats dot add. That's how you add to a list. And we're going to go ahead and add base uh, stamina. Oh, excuse me, base stamina. And don't forget your parentheses. So here we're adding the uh, class called base, the object base stamina to our stats list. And then we'll do item stats dot add again. And we'll do uh, base, let's say endurance. Okay. 
So here we've added two stats to our stats list. And so now this item, every time we create it, will always have base stamina, it will have stamina and endurance on it. Uh, and that's it. So now that we're creating items and stuff, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how we're actually how to create these. Um, so what we'll do is, is in our base player. Actually, let's jump into uni Unity first. Make sure we don't have any errors, and we don't. We got a couple warnings, but that's okay. So what we'll do now is jump into our base player uh, script here, and what we'll do is we're going to create a private variable, and we're going to call it's going to be of type list, and that list is going to be base items. Okay our base item and we're gonna make this our inventory and we'll say new base item list right uh, and well I'm gonna show you the very basic part of using this is how we're gonna create an inventory system uh, and this is just gonna be the, the start of it in the next video we'll kinda make a UI and stuff for it and get more in depth with it but this is basically how you make an inventory you have a list and it's gonna be of I, a base type item so that means all items will be stored in this variable called inventory uh, and the way you add it add things to it is what I'm going to show you now so under the start method here we're going to create a for loop so we're going to say for we'll say int i is equal to zero so this is like our counter and we'll say i is less than 10 meaning we're going to run this loop 10 times once i is greater than 10 it'll stop uh, and then we'll add i so basically it runs this loop it starts at zero runs the loop once it adds one to i so i is one runs it again runs it ten times whatever is in these brackets here will run uh, ten times so what we need to do is go ahead and say alright base item item so we'll say base item item so we're creating a we're using the variable item is going to be an item and we'll say that's equal to a new base item so here we've created a new item uh, this item will have a name, a description, a value, it's, it'll have stamina, endurance, and it'll have a type. right? So what we want to do is add that to our inventory. So we'll say item, uh, we'll say inventory, dot add, uh, and we're going to add the item. right? So now we've added this item to our inventory. Well, how are we going to read that item? Well. How, like how can we see it? Well, there's a couple ways we can do. We can just look directly at the item. Uh, but what I'll show you is how to access the inventories. Uh, so what we'll do is create a debug statement. We'll do debug.log, and we'll do inventory. Dot. Or excuse me, inventory of i. Right. So whatever value we're at, whatever index value we're at. In this case, will be zero. So we'll be the first slot. Uh, and this will be the first slot of that item, which is the item we just created. And we'll go ahead and get that item. We'll do item name. Right, you can see how it's already uh, accessing all the information. We'll do debug.log of inventory of i again, and we'll do uh, let's say description. Right. So here we have item name description. I'm going to go ahead and copy these, and I want to uh, make a couple more. So I just Control C and Control V made a couple more copies. So inventory I. So again, the first iteration will be inventory zero. So whatever item is first time we create it will be that one. Uh, we want to go ahead and look at its value. Oh, made a mistake here. Do item uh, value. There we go. Uh, let's see what else do we want. We want to look at type. We can look at type. Control to save. Uh, and now we'll go ahead and do. Uh, stats so we'll do item stats of what well let's go ahead and look at stamina we know stamina is in the first is the first item we added so it's its index value is zero meaning so item stats of zero is pointing to stamina and then we'll go ahead and we'll get its name and I'll prove it to you by showing you this in just a second so I'll go ahead and do that I'm gonna go ahead and control copy that uh, so we can Create it so I don't have to retype it all. So now what we're doing is we're looking at the inventory of i. So whatever index value we're at. So in this case, the first one would be zero. Uh, and then we're going to look at that item. We're going to look at its stats, and we're going to look at its first stat. We're going to get its name. We want to go ahead and get its description. And then the other thing, let's see, we'll get its uh, let's say base value. Well, let's get its type. Perfect. Okay. And then finally, 
so let me let me go back so what we're doing is we're creating an item uh, the item we're creating is using this method in base item so it's creating an item with a name description of value all that stuff we just set up right so we're creating an item we're gonna add it to our inventory and then using debug.log which basically just outputs uh, information to the console in unity we're gonna output that inventory slots item the name the description the value and its type and then we're gonna go ahead and start looking at the stats so we're gonna go ahead and look at the first stat right which is stamina that's what this says look at the first stat in the list which in this case would probably be stamina uh, and we'll output its name its description and its type and then the final thing we're gonna do once we run this for loop ten times we're gonna go debug dot log inventory dot count and that's gonna tell us it should tell us that we have ten items there, it should count to ten meaning we have ten items and in parentheses I'll say or I items in the inventory uh, and the reason why I wrote or I items is if you change uh, this 10 here to 50 will end up with 50 in our inventory if you change it to 100 we will end up to 100 if you change it to 1 we'll have 1 it's however many times you run this for loop however many time items we create will be added alright so now we've created this function I'm gonna jump into unity I have already attached the base player script here to the camera so that means when I hit play uh, it will run it's gonna run that for loop so I'll go ahead and do that now hit play and you see 10 down here that means that we have 10 items in our inventory I'm gonna go ahead and click the console and you see all the items we've created see we have item 55 that's a name here's item 55 is awesome item that's a description its value is 167 it's of type equipment now we're gonna go ahead and look at its stats and we know its stamina that's the name the description and its type and it does that for every item that we add and of course we've now added them to our inventory and we know that because we have 10 items in there so that's the basics of creating an inventory that's the basics of creating an item system uh, I think this I think I've done a much better job this time explaining it than I did in the last series hopefully you guys understand if you got questions I'll try to answer them best I can uh, in the next video we're gonna be working on expanding this inventory list system here and we're gonna go ahead and create functions and stuff to add to delete to shift to sell all that stuff uh, we'll be doing with our inventory uh, the first thing we'll probably do though is create a UI for the inventory just some couple icons and stuff and that's the first thing we'll probably touch on in the next video uh, but anyways hit like subscribe if you enjoyed the video if you like the channel uh, spread the word about the videos appreciate all the support and I'll talk to you guys next time